Your NBC 26 Storm Tracker forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Still. For the second evening in a row, we are getting a little bit of much needed rain out there tonight. A good scattering of rain, but no large areas of rain out there so far tonight. We'll start out in Aiken County. That's where most of the rain has been across the eastern and southern portions of the county. Notice uh, everything's moving very slowly tonight, uh, if at all. So where we do get a thunderstorm to form, it's just going to have to kind of sit there and rain itself out. So there could be a few pockets of locally heavy rainfall. Off to the north in McDuffie County, north of Thompson, we're talking about a few splash and dash showers out there. No lightning uh, in the last 10 minutes, at least across McDuffie County. Down to the south, we're talking about a few strikes of lightning, about four in the last 10 minutes or so in Emanuel County. This uh, thunderstorm here, as you can see, is moving to the north. It looks like about 5 to 10 miles per hour, so the movement tonight is very, very slow. The most widespread rain tonight is back across Alabama. There is an upper level disturbance that is moving to the east, and it will move across our area overnight tonight. The only trouble is we're going to lose most of the heating of the day, so I do expect that to weaken a lot, if not fall apart altogether, but it will have at least a 30 or 40 percent chance of rain out there through the overnight hours tonight. On our live tower cam tonight, the clouds have dissipated a little bit over the past hour or so, but a few uh, fair weather cumulus clouds here in the Augusta area. Nice and warm out there, but not unusually so. Right now, 87 degrees, a light wind out of the south at three miles per hour. Temperatures where his rain have cooled off a bit. We've had some rain across Barnwell County, so you're only at 82 degrees. A little warmer for Evans back in the Thompson where the temperature is 87, partly sunny in Aiken, 86, and pretty nice up there in McCormick. Current temperature at 85. Here's a look at our water vapor imagery tonight, and this shows us the moisture up where the clouds form and even higher in the atmosphere. And the green colors here show you a lot of abundant moisture, and there has been an upper disturbance causing that rain across Alabama that is moving to the east. Now, this is a 12 hour time lapse, and it's gone from Texas to Alabama, so this will be headed over our area overnight. But as the atmosphere cools, that's going to hurt our chances of rain for the overnight hours. Here's our forecast tracker overnight tonight. If we have any showers, it's just going to be a few lingering showers, but fairly muggy out there with mid 60s for low temperatures tonight. Headed into your Thursday, a mix of sunshine and cloud cover really about like we saw today. We'll have a 30% chance of storms in the afternoon. Highs about where they should be in the mid to upper 80s. Headed into your Friday, we're talking about low 60s, a little bit cooler and mainly dry as we head into the weekend. Thursday, 20% uh, chance of rain, 7 o'clock in the morning, 64 for the afternoon, 30% chance for a few pop-up storms, high temperatures there in the mid-80s. Our uh, seven-day forecast is going to show mainly dry weather for the weekend and seasonably warm, high temperature 89 Saturday and Sunday, maybe a stray afternoon storm by early next week. All right, Chris, still back with a check of our weather. Pretty steamy out there today. Pretty steamy, but so far no scary clouds out yes, there tonight. That's a good thing. Yeah, we had a lot of photos of those clouds. Now, the clouds are forming very low in the sky. That's why they were so creepy looking last mm -hmm. night. So if we do get any storms tonight, we may have a repeat performance, but so far not a whole lot in the way of rain out there. In fact, let's take a look at our climate report. The official high for today will go down as 88 degrees. That is exactly average for this time of the year. The record high 99 back in 2045, the record low. Spotter reports today were in the mid 60s for low temperatures, 65 down in Wren, 67 for Grovetown and Martinez. Our warmest weather in the metro area anyway, 89 for the high down in McBean. 89 the high in Sylvania, same thing in Thompson, a lot of areas in the mid 80s. Our official high for Aiken goes down as 86 degrees. The rain report today is dry so far, but the rain we had yesterday, about 44 hundredths of an inch in Augusta, dropped our deficit down to about 1.4 inches on the year, so certainly some welcome rain. As we look around the CSRA out there tonight, a few spotty uh, showers out there, but so far nothing heavy and so far nothing anywhere near severe. Our boating fishing forecast as we head into your Thursday, we'll have high temperatures in the mid 80s, 30% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. Current water temperature is 80 degrees. Paige.